Good morning everyone. I'm meteorologist Parker Beasley. We've been fairly cold the last couple of mornings and will continue to stay that way due to radiational cooling. So during the day the earth is absorbing all of the heat that the sun gives to us. Temperature is going to be in the 70s and 80s once again, but during the night when we're mostly clear, we have a light wind. If any at all, our temperatures really cool down big time. And so we see all of that energy that's absorbed during the day, then re emitted back to space during the night. So that's why we're cold uh, this morning, and that's why temperatures are going to remain cool for the next several hours. By this afternoon, we'll get back into the mid to upper 70s for your paw cast. So the asphalt and the pavement shouldn't be too hot for the pups. Uh, so no concerns about their paw pads this afternoon as temperatures only get to about 80 degrees across the Roanoke Valley, 82 for Danville, 80 for South Boston. Portions of the NRV will only get to the lower 70s like Hillsville, Independence, Floyd, Galax. You guys will be fairly cool all day long. As the kiddos are headed home from school, your school bus forecast shows the temperatures are going to be in the mid to upper 70s. No rain. So as they're headed out the door, you don't need to pack the umbrella. Now this pattern is going to stay with us throughout our Thursday. Uh, the morning temperature theme and trend is going to be sticking with us where we're cool because we are going to be mostly sunny. But the jet stream is going to lift off towards the north and move off towards the east. So that big high pressure dome that's currently dominating portions of the central areas of the country is going to migrate and slowly meander towards the east. And so we're going to see some warmer temperatures develop over this weekend. We get to 87 degrees on Saturday, 89 on Sunday. And as we have a look at your seven day forecast, the temperature trend only goes up as we look to return back to the 90s next week.